Hi friends! Um, <laughs> it's been a really, really long time since I last made a video. Uh, it's been a hot minute. Do you guys even remember who I am? A lot has happened and so I'm just gonna start this video with a little life update and then we're gonna get into a little story time of um, my health journey. So just to begin with, I finished up my work in Vancouver and that was just a magical chapter of my life so many amazing things happened there I met uh, new friends I reconnected with old friends I learned how to dance it, I found personal healing uh, through some experiences I had there I it was a really great moment of my life I'll always look back on that with very fond memories and I can't wait to go back and visit after that I went home to Virginia to be with family for about a month which was really cool. I got to meet a new nephew and play with all my nieces and nephews, see family that I hadn't seen in a really long time. And being with family during the holidays is just so important and so special. And I'll always uh, make that a priority to do that every year. So following Virginia, I came to LA. I am between shows right now and I wanted to go somewhere warm. I just really wanted to feel the sun on my skin again. That's so important to me. I wanted to go to markets and get yummy fresh produce. I wanted to see friends. I wanted to experience LA. I've never spent any time, extended amount of time out here. And so this is just where I wanted to be. And there's, the city is full of people who do what I do. And I want that energy to rub off on me a little bit, just to re-inspire me to pursue wholeheartedly what I want and I'm here and I'm loving it so far so that's gonna be the next few months of my life and then we'll see what's gonna happen with another season of six I still don't have a premiere date yet for season two but you know I'll give it to you as soon as I can and uh, Walking Dead I can never say anything about it so you guys can ask but I can't comment on it <laughs> so anyways getting into the meat of it little story time with you today I'm gonna go ahead and warn you that if you're triggered by veganism uh, then you might not want to watch this video. I'm all about um, mutually respectful discussion or you know agreeing to disagree. That's totally fine, but I know some people this can be a sensitive subject and so I just want you to be aware. So I grew up eating a very normal American diet and by normal I mean um, lots of meat, uh, lots of breads and grains, uh, a small amount of fruits and vegetables, very southern, you know, fried chicken and sweet tea, things like that. My mom was an amazing cook and I always loved her food. It was so, so delicious. But I really wasn't getting the nutrition that I needed and I never knew it. In college, I went on a date with this guy. He took me to a steakhouse. I used to love steak. And um, he took me to a steakhouse and was telling me about this friend he had who was a raw foodist. I had never heard that term before. Um, I didn't know anything about like this raw food movement and I looked him up on Instagram and I saw that he had so many followers because it was kind of becoming this trend. And his diet, I was just captivated by his diet. It was full of just vibrant, uh, colorful, fresh fruits and vegetables. He was a big proponent for veganism. So for those of you who don't know, the raw food diet is just uh, a vegan diet consisting of raw fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. So nothing cooked, you know, no grains, no breads, no oatmeal, raw fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds. Looking at his diet, I realized how little of these foods I actually ate. And that kind of worried me a little bit and I wanted to take part of this really fresh and really nutritious I just wanted a bit of what he had so I decided that that following New Year I was gonna make it a resolution to eat vegan and I think it kind of came as a shock to a lot of my family and friends um, kind of weirded out by a little bit kind of poked fun at a little bit and since they've gotten more used to it, but that's another that's another story for another day. So I ate vegan for that six months, and at first it was a difficult transition because it just took a toll on my system. I mean, I wasn't used to getting enough fiber, so when I started eating all these fresh foods, my I was in a lot of stomach pain, 
tons of gas, like having to eat, like poop all the time, and it was just horrible. Once I got past that small phase though, my body felt amazing and I felt light and I felt energized. Um, I loved the food I was eating. I was eating like fresh mangoes and um, oatmeal and just really nutritious. I felt so good about that choice. So that was the first six months and then I slowly transitioned back to vegetarianism. So I started eating things like, you know, cheese. When I would eat out, I'd eat cheese or, you know, butter would be in pastries and things that I ate. I ate eggs. Um, still mostly vegan, but whenever I ate out, it kind of went out the window or over people's houses. So that was the past um, like three years of my life, eating that way. Uh, and just recently, I was reminded about all of the reasons why um, veganism is so important. Things like what animal agriculture does to our environment, the practices of getting milk from cows and how just horrible that is and uh, what ha what happens in the process of getting eggs from chickens to you through the grocery store. And, and I just was reminded of all these things that I always knew and I kind of put in the back of my mind because they were inconvenient for me. That was hard to accept, but that's what it was. Um, so I had a few friends that were making the switch and I, it's something I've always wanted to do and I decided to go back to veganism. Um, and so that was a month ago and it's going really well so far. I felt just an inner peace about making that decision. It's like when you finally do something that you know is right and you start living congruently with how you believe you should, it, that, it's indescribable that feeling. So it's even more than just feeling healthy, it just feels good to do what I believe is right. And everybody's on their own journey, and I choose not to be an angry vegan um, <laughs> because this lifestyle choice is supposed to be all about compassion and compassion for our fellow man and compassion for the animals. So I, I don't want to be an argumentative person. I don't want to proselytize for veganism. I love to share with people who are interested and open to hearing. I, I love to educate. Um, but you just, you, you have to be talking to someone who's willing to listen. So if that's something that interests you, I'm gonna list some, um, some great vegan documentaries down below in the description, as well as links to an app that I use to make sure that you're getting full nutrition on a vegan diet. Don't, please don't bring up protein because <laughs> I will get so triggered if we start talking about protein. Protein is such a buzzword. Everybody's getting enough protein. Nobody is protein deficient. It basically doesn't exist if you're getting enough calories. Um, <laughs> that's, that's what I believe. I'm a huge proponent of this lifestyle now and I'll never go back. And if I have kids one day, I'll raise them on a vegan diet. It's a passion of mine. And I'd love, love to talk to you guys more about it if you have questions. Uh, watch watch some documentaries, really get educated on how your eating habits affect everyone else, including the animals, including the environment, including your body. So I'm here to be a resource for you, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for being here and listening all the way through. I'll see you on the next video. I wanted to add one little addendum. Um, I do share everything that I eat on the Instagram account at the dot naughty dot vegan um, it's not beautiful pictures or pretty pictures by any stretch of the imagination but it's just my food diary so if you want to know um, what I eat on a vegan diet if you want some ideas and inspiration feel free to go follow me there